video is about my favorite season one character, who incidentally is also my overall favorite character in the Supernatural series. So, since I don't want to get, since pretty much everything I'll have to say is already written here, I'm going to just read it off of the page in case I somehow get sidetracked and make this a longer video than it really needs to be. So, if I don't look up at the camera much, that's why. And I'm probably the only person in the entire world who has this character as my favorite character. And yet, I still get along very well with people who hate him. I'm aware of how strange this sounds as my most favorite character choice. It's John Winchester. I'm aware of how strange this sounds as a most favorite character choice. And I mean overall, and I mean overall, not just in season one. But I'm talking about him now since he is first introduced in season one and only has two episodes in season two while still being portrayed by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. So I consider him a season one character despite him also appearing in two episodes in later seasons and played by Matt Cohen. The reason John Winchester is my favorite character is my most favorite character is because of the impact he has on the entire story, especially the character developments of Sam and Dean. Sam and Dean would literally not have the same insecurities, same desires, same goals if it hadn't been for how John raised them. This does not mean I think John's parenting was good parenting. It was terrible parenting. John has horrible codependency issues and that strongly affected how he interacted with Dean and Sam, which in turn influenced how the boys reacted to things and dealt with problems. John needlessly ridicules Dean and has a bad temper. It's implied that John went as far as physically abusing his children. It's almost, it's most strongly hinted by Sam in a flashback episode in season 7 when we are introduced to Amy the Kitsune and the parallel between Amy's mother and John is made by and Amy's mother strikes Amy across the face. Sam's words were along the lines of, you do not want to see my dad drunk. There's also an instance in The Dark Side of the Moon where Sam and Dean enter heaven and learn how heaven works where Dean trails off, not exactly saying what John had done when he found out that Sam had run away from them. Sam's happy memory of escaping his family then seems to become a sad one as Sam realizes or is reminded of what happened or must have happened to Dean. Personally, I don't think John ever hit Sam. This is, this is headcanon territory, but I don't think John ever hit Sam. I don't believe Dean would have ever allowed that to happen. So if John Winchester did physically abuse his children, it was strictly Dean. But even without the physical abuse, John's relationship with Dean and Sam is unhealthy. Dean is basically John's platonic wife. Second wife. Only Sam really gets to be the child in the situation, but John is the family dictator who isn't around very much. So not only does Sam rebel at any given opportunity because Sam and John are alike in all the wrong ways, John not being around and leaving Dean to take care of Sam is a form of n neglect especially when Dean is too young to have that kind of responsibility. And John realizes that he is not a good father. There is a publication in, of what is in John's journal and it details John's personal thoughts and notes about monsters. How Bill Harville died when Dean started learning how to hunt. How old Dean was when he killed a man named Anderson. The notes are unclear on whether Anderson was possessed by a demon or was just a hunter. John is aware of how many of how terrible many of his decisions are, and he hates it, but his need for revenge makes him choose to ignore it. John cannot function without Mary and absolutely needs Dean taking care of him in Mary's absence. John cannot handle the idea of Dean being taken in by somebody like Bobby, the idea of someone else trying to be a father to Dean. John's relationship with Sam is much more like a father-son rocky relationship is supposed to go, but that doesn't mean that Sam was better off than Dean in the situation. Sam felt very neglected by, jo by John and like he loved Dean more than Sam. And Dean felt John loved Sam more. And John never verbally praised his boys, which is why Dean knew John was possessed by Azazel. John Winchester is the reason Dean and Sam are so tragic, and John is probably one of the most tragic characters in the entire show because of how hopeless he was is 
He's a pathetic man who can't function without his wife, even though he knows he didn't appreciate her nearly enough when she was alive. He's my favorite because it's fascinating to get inside his head. Figure out his reasoning and rationalizations for how he treated Dean and Sam. He's my favorite because he fucked up so much and caused so much conflict and drama between the other characters. He's my favorite because he's the most flawed and arguably the most human out of all the characters. Everyone somehow knows a John Winchester. No one likes John Winchester. Some people have no choice but to love John Winchester and curse his name for it. But we all know John Winchester.